Hello, sunshine. Sherry Elise here. Hi, everybody. I just wanted to check in really quickly because I wanted to make sure that you know about this because there's only three days left to let you know about this. Um, for myself and for so many of us, we hold on to things, beliefs, toxic often, things that we aren't sure even realize that we're holding on to, stuff that we've gained since childhood, beliefs that were put in my head and beliefs that were put in your head, uh, ways that we were taught to move through the world, limiting things that stop us from being who we ultimately intend to and want to be. And what often happens is that once these beliefs begin to really settle into ourselves, we start making choices from that belief space. And so it was really important to me that I created an opportunity for all of us to be able to release that shit that we hold on to that stops us, that stops you from being who you know you're meant to be. And you know that you have that voice inside. You know there's something that's always whispering, there's more, or this is not it. I know you can do better, or I know that there is better for you. But oftentimes we don't know how to get to that better because there are these unconscious beliefs and things that we're, that you and I are just holding on to. And so I have created, and the Wellness Universe has created Soul Treat. It is a two-day retreat in Sedona, Arizona, and I so want you to come and join me. I want you to be a part of this with me. I just want to tell you a little bit about it because there's only three days left of it. If you come with me and meet me there, um, you will be surrounded by about 30 or 40 people who are all here to support and lift you. From Jim Phillips, who is going to teach you a four-step formula to creating a life that leads to your truth to Manuela Rohr, who's gonna be showing you powerful mindful mindfulness exercises and yoga in order to help you release and move through your body in a better and stronger way. Um, Elizabeth Kipp, she's gonna teach you how through a workshop of ancestral clearing to maybe recognize some of the things that you're holding on to from your past, from your DNA, things that we bring into this lifetime from our ancestors to be able to cut the ties on that so you don't have to carry their crap in. And then there's Harry Sherwood, who's going to be sharing with you if you're on a spiritual path and you're seeking. Oftentimes we find ourselves working so hard at spirituality. And as someone who has lived in ashrams and monasteries, he has spent a lot of time really in self-reflection. And what he has come to find is that spirituality is a lot easier than we make it out to be. And so he's going to be showing us techniques on how to experience your nature and the simplicity of that nature and of our spiritual path. And then, of course, there's Dolores, Dr. Dolores Vizzino, and she's going to share with you ways that you can expand and really be able to create your own healing so you can physically heal yourself. She's going to share with you that. And then finally, Diane Forster is going to share with you a three-step process to be able to reinvent your life and live intentionally. I'm sharing this with you. Hi, Mama. I'm sharing this with you because I'm really excited about this opportunity to be able to help change and transform your life. And that's all on just day one in Sedona. Sedona. Day two at Soul Treat, you're going to have David McLeod. He is going to share with you how to embrace and take care of your shadow. We all have a shadow, a darker side of us, and we often want to push it away. But he's going to share with us ways to spot our shadow and then be able to redirect the power so we could stop sabotaging you and all that you work for. And then there's Melanie Makita. She's going to teach you how to equip yourself for the highs and lows in your life. You know, we go on these journeys and we experience tragedies and triumphs and how you navigate through that. So if I didn't mention, day two is about resetting. So day one, you've released all the crap that you hold on to, all the stuff that holds you back in your life. And day two, now you are perfectly clear and you can reset that powerful soul of yours. And then we have Laura DeFranco and she's gonna do an intuitive writing for healers. So basically how to connect with your soul through writing and help you heal. And then Cheryl Meyer is going to teach you the 12 balance, the 12 pillars of balance in your life, because it's not just about exercise and it's not just about spirituality. It's about all areas of your life. And then Krisa TS, she's going to be doing a Minoan trance dance with us. So it's this way to be able to explore the balance of self-connection um, and reflection through dance, through freeing yourself through dance with a tribal drum, really, really cool stuff. 
And then finally, Eileen Dillon, she's going to teach us about what your emotions have come to show you. So every time you're feeling anger, every time you're feeling sadness or frustration, it always comes with a message. So we got two full days, man. And then I'm there to kind of host the entire retreat. I'm there to um, be able to share with you uh, some of the challenges that I've gone through and then be able to really get us together in a group so you can feel supported, so you can leave here feeling powerful, like the powerful person you're meant to be and that you truly are, but often forget. So I would love if you would join me in Sedona, Arizona, April 5th and 6th, right around the corner for two magical days to be able to spoil your soul, to be able to release the stuff that no longer serves you so you can go and live the friggin' amazing life that you're meant to live. Registration closes on February 28th. That is in three days, my friends, three days. Don't let something like, if you're thinking I don't have the money or if you're scared or I don't have the time, I honestly implore you to really put yourself first before anybody else. Really put yourself first before anything else. Your happiness, your life, your soul, all of this is of the utmost importance because without it, you will not be able to have a successful relationship. Without it, you will not be able to go forth in your life and have this career that you want. You won't be able to look at yourself every day and feel content and satisfied in your life. And I don't want you to feel that. I know what that feels like. And I work every day at loving myself just a little bit more and being kinder to myself just a whole lot more. And I want to do that and share that with you. So come meet me, meet members of the wellness universe, come meet other people who have come to be able to powerfully transform their lives. And let's have a good freaking time in Sedona. I'm going to put the information right here in the comments, wherever the comments are. And I hope that you say yes to you. It'll be the most amazing thing that you've done in 2019 for yourself. It is your time. Now is your time. Say yes to you and no longer live a life that feels diminished, that feels squashed, and that just doesn't feel right or whole. I can't wait to see you there. Have a beautiful week, and uh, you better I better be seeing you in Sedona. All right, thanks for joining me, and um, take care of yourself, be good to yourself, and remember, life is very transitory, so the more that you can love yourself through it, the easier it actually becomes. All right, bye-bye.